Hi guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I hope life is treating you well. For today's video, I thought I would do a collective haul. I've been buying some stuff. Let's just say I have a buy-in obsession. I really need to rein it in. Like, I need to stop. It's, it's an actual addiction at this point. I just see things and I'm like, I need it. It's going to make my life better. Some things do not everything a lot of it's charity shops little small gift shops from places i've been somewhere called the yorkshire trading co had you heard of it i had never heard of it there was one in durham when i went for a day trip with my cousin india and i went into it wow it's cheaper than home bargains and being out it is so cheap there's a few things so yeah from charity shops just a mix of places but i'm basically just gonna tell you where it's from how much i paid for it but i'm gonna say that this is a unique items haul you might disagree but i feel like there's quite a lot of items in here that add classes unique without further rat -a -tat -tat, let's just get straight into the haul and i'll show you everything that i got okay i'm gonna start with charity shops just because they're exciting aren't they oh guys oh i don't look right the thing was i seen this and initially i thought dog bed that could be good as a dog bed i love the pattern of it i couldn't put it down i was in this like i think it was a cancer research pop-up shop in durham something about it to me i was like i think it's vintage i really like the pattern could be used as a dog bed could be used just because i want it it's a vintage i think sleeping bag is that great it was five pound it's proper old fashioned. It smells good, you know. I think they've washed it. It smells real good. It's got like peacocks on it. It's got like an Aztec -y print. You know what? I don't even care. I love it. There was something about it that I was just absolutely drawn to. And I was like, I really want it. This is the brand. I feel like it could be vintage. Never heard of them. I think it says Zip Sack Sleeping Bag John Cotton. Take that as you will. I really like the pattern of it. It's got the zip going down. So I don't know yet. I was probably going to be used as a dog bed, to be fair. But I thought it was cute enough. So, right, I'll stick on the theme of charity shops. It was my lucky day. So Paper Chase have actually just gone bust and closed down. There's a Paper Chase opposite this charity shop. And they donated a bunch of stock on the day that they closed and that they didn't sell. So I bought some of it. First thing is, I love to have birthday cards in. And just little cards, just in case I need one. I've seen these originally from Paper Chase. But I just think it's so cute with the brunch and everything on. And it says, happy birthday to my favourite brunch partner. I just thought that is actually adorable. And Paper Chase was selling it for a pound, but the charity shop was selling them for 50 pence. So I picked up two of them. Because I go for brunch with quite a lot of people. I have a few brunch partners that I could think of for these. So I got two birthday cards like that. And then I also got this, which is a wedding planner. I don't know personally if I'll gift this to someone when they get engaged or if I'll keep it to plan my own wedding, but it was reduced from £15 at Paper Chase to £3.50 at the charity shop. And I was like, well, I don't know about you, but I call that a bargain. And it's really good. It's actually categorised in loads of sections. Um, and I just thought it would help you plan a wedding. So I don't know if I'm keeping it or gifting it, but I picked it up. Every girl likes a book. Well, some girls don't. Anyway, Jessica Redland was the first author whose book I read, which got us into books. So I picked up another one of her books when I seen it in the charity shop for a pound. This is Family Secrets at Hedgehog Hollow. So I picked up this one, which I'm really excited to read. I then picked up three for £4.50 at this other charity shop. I got the Nick Hornby Juliet Naked. I then picked up the Nora Roberts Born in Fire, Leonie Mack Italy Ever After. So they're the three books that I have to add to my collection of ever-grown books that I read but I am reading them I'm getting through them you know that is everything that I've picked up at charity shops recently a little home bargains thing home bargains have glossy box skincare in for $1.99 I nearly died I was buzzing so I picked up the deep cleansing cream they did have a few other things but this is the only thing I fancied and it's a makeup remover cleanser £1.50 Bob is your uncle the next thing I picked up is from Lidl it was £14 and I picked up this silver crest multifunction hot air styler it's one of these if you want us to do a tiktok or if you want to test it in a vlog let us know but i haven't used it yet it says it's got like two heat speed settings cool shop button to set the hairstyle rotating cable joint soft touch surface i have something similar to this did i need it absolutely not but i just it looked interesting it looked like it could create some really cute hairstyles i picked it up for 14 quid you can't complain okay i'll then move on to the yorkshire trading co let us know if you have one of these shops near you because if you do i'm so jealous i mean durham's like 40 50 minutes from me so it's not that far but it was so good and so cheap so i picked up these first they're gift cards but they actually like they're sent they're centered so they're great for like giving to someone who then they can keep in their car or their wardrobe anyway they're by the brand wax lyrical um and basically it says a fragranced cotton air freshener and it's a greeting card so this one says sending good luck and it smells of 
I'm not sure, but it smells really nice. The other one says Happy New Home. I just love having stuff like this in in case an occasion comes in my life and I need a gift for someone and I'm like, I already have it. And then this one just says with love. Oh, this smells so good. This is so unique. I've never seen anything like this before. I just thought they were absolutely great. Anyway, so I picked up three of them. They were a quid each, which I thought was a canny bargain considering you're getting a cent and a card in one. I then picked up this dish sponge. It was 79 pence. Did I need it? No, but it was hard and I feel like it's, it's gonna really scrub the dishes. So I picked it up. I've then been wanting to try incense for quite a while and this was quite a good deal it's in the fragrance green apple um you get a holder and some incense i believe you get 60 of them they do smell good um and i've just I don't, i've never tried them before so i thought we'll try them so i got these and these were literally a pound the next thing so i use ffs razors i absolutely love them and in this yorkshire shop i've seen ffs double-sided back applicator so this is to help you do your back and then i also seen their self tanning mousse i've never used their tanning mousse before like i said i use their razors but when i seen these at 1.99 a piece i was like absolute bargain because their razors are quite expensive so i'm gonna try them can't tell you if they're good but i have them i then also picked up this from the cleaning section it's the bicarb cream cleaner i've never seen this before i get the bicarb powder but i've never seen the cream cleaner and it says it can be used on sinks baths taps cooker hobs or work surfaces so these i thought were great they were reduced from a pound to 50 pence and i just thought it's little gifts for people it's a little tin but you get 10 wax melts per tin so this scent is eucalyptus and orange zest Ooh, look, oh look. they smell so strong they are gorgeous look at them the fact that they're so well like they're so pretty and they come with the tins so i got that scent and then i picked up also this which doesn't actually have a scent on it. Oh, scent, note, linen, cotton, jasmine, iris, and rose. Let's see what colour these ones are. Oh, they're blue again. Oh, it does smell good, actually, that one. And then I got this one, but I scotch. I'm not really a sweet scented person myself, but I know some of my friends are. Like vanilla, but I scotch shortcake are just not my scent, really, but I know some people that are. So I thought, little gift. Anyway, that is everything that I got from the Yorkshire Co. I honestly love that shop. I could have spent way more on there, but I reined it in a little bit. The next shop I'll do is little gift shops. So I went with a few little gift shops in Durham and York. And I picked up these, which again, I just thought for little gifts for people. Giant milk chocolate buttons, but look at the packaging. They're so adorable. Um, I got the salted caramel ones and then the smooth chocolate ones. I then also picked up this. It's the Silky Milk Chocolate, um, but it says presenting artistic talents of adults with complex, neurodiverse and physical support needs. So that's who designed the packaging. And I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love the idea of it. It was expensive. It was £6 for this bar of chocolate. £6.50 to be exact very expensive but for the detail and for paying somebody who is work has gone into this i think it's amazing so i picked this up as well which will be part of the gift because the chocolate's actually in date till next year and i love having unique gifts like this while i see them the next thing that i got this is actually a manifestation type of thing i bought this print of australia because it is beautiful this is what it looks like um but yeah it's an australian like wallpaper i bought this purely for my travel scrap booth have i been to australia no do i want to go to australia yes have i got australia booked no but i thought if i buy it we're manifesting it aren't we because i want to go anyway me and sean are potentially going to be traveling quite a bit next year so i hope this will make it in my travel scrapbook one day okay the next shop that i went to, into is flying tiger copenhagen i love this shop so much there used to be one in newcastle and i always found it so unique so affordable and then they just got rid of it and i was like i like that shop but there was one in york so i went into it i got this organized chaos in a black bag right i like you know if i'm going away i like to package things within my suitcase like people have them cubes and they look good but i don't have them cubes but i feel like i just like to have bags to put stuff in so i like things to look more organized so i picked up this little black bag to make my chaos look organized and i thought it was cute i think it was two quid a quid the shop is so cheap though it wouldn't have been much and then the next thing i picked up from there was this scrap boot scrap book kit this is what it looks like you get a scrap book some patterned paper envelopes washi tapes and stickers this is like everything you get in the whole reason i picked it up to be completely honest is because it was reduced from eight pound to four and i just thought well with all them supplies and a book that's actually not a bad bargain i got my cousin india one as well because she wants to start scrapbooking so yeah i picked up that and then the last 
um, shop that I went into is the stationery shop. Is it Ryman or Raymond? Ryman? Anyway, and I picked up some bits in there. I picked up these, which look like the Scrabble letters. They're like on little hardwood. But I want to decorate the front of my travel scrapbook, which is now finally up to date. I'm so excited. But I thought these would look really nice to update the front of that or to design the front of that. And then I also picked up these 3D stickers. I just thought they were really, really pretty, to be fair. And I haven't really got any in my collection like them. So I picked them up. And then the last stickers I picked up were the alphabet, but these ones are actually like, I think the, f I don't think these ones are 3D, but they're like brown and I just like them. So I picked up them. That is everything that I've been buying over the last few days. I thought I would just do a collective haul because I thought I had some really good, unique stuff to show you. And I just wanted to talk about all the shit I've been buying, to be honest. So this is my haul. I really hope you enjoy it. If you would like to see more haul videos like this, let us know by giving this one a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're not already. And without further ratatata, I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye.